what do you do? You know, there's someone that's listening that says like they both stink. Like they both stink. I don't want to vote at all. Like, what do you say to the person that's like, I can't, I cannot pull the the lever for either of these people in good conscience? Do you think that there is a is there something deeply wrong to just say I'm not voting? Deeply wrong. Uh, that's probably subjective. Well, I mean, so now I'm going to talk as a fellow American. Oh, it, as yeah, a, you can wear two different hats. Yeah, so probably not talking. You're wearing your bald eagle I'm, I'm hat trying, now. No, I'm trying to think like other passages, you know, like in the scriptures that might get at that. Um, and I can't think make, of one. I'll make the, the most of every opportunity. You know. Yeah, I mean? maybe That's make the most of, of every opportunity. Um, days are evil, that sort mm-hmm, of thing. Mm-hmm. As an American fellow citizen, I would say um, one of the things I've done in the last probably seven, eight years now is every summer I take a new president and kind of dive in to that particular president. And I've As loved you it. do. Well, it's just been, um, well, you're reading the you federal papers. <laughs> you guys both in like two different, yeah. two different uh, sectionals there. I, the pipe and I the, love it. And it just, the cat. I feel like it ought to be required reading for like, a, like young people because in America. Like what president on now? Uh, I did a uh, Roosevelt, uh, okay. Theodore Roosevelt this yep. summer, Eisenhower last summer, and Truman. I try to do more obscure ones that I don't know. I mm-hmm. don't know. Mm-hmm. A lot of people know, but anyways, my point is, it just it really does open your eyes to the gift and the blessing. And by the way, you can be patriotic and not be nationalistic. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like mm-hmm. nationalism is when you worship the country. Mm-hmm. Patriotic is when you're grateful mm-hmm. for the gifts that you've been given. Mm-hmm. And I'm incredibly grateful. And for for what uh, for what God has given, and there's a debt to to the people that died. One hundred percent. Yeah, I'm grateful for that. Mm-hmm. I tell my kids, I'm like, you see a, uh, and, and they and I model this for them. But I'm like, mm-hmm. you see a veteran wearing a veteran, you thank them. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and if you can pay for their break, you pray you pay for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's just important. And so speaking from that side, boy, I would hope you'd use that that God given. Yeah, someone died not for God that, given, right. but that someone died for the right for you to vote. Yeah, it's like important. I'd love to see my if I was sitting down with you, colleague, I would plead with you. Um, exercise that right. Mm-hmm. Even if you write someone in, you're still there are people who would give anything to have to to live in this country. Now going and back to what truly, you were saying before, like give everything. Uh, if a person sees it as sinful or biblically, there's some sort of biblical reason why they shouldn't, then I, I respect that. Sure. That's going against, against your conscience. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. right. That's right. Totally fine. Yep. So I would never say that mm-hmm. um, going against your conscience. I think I, you know, to your earlier question though, if you're just frustrated with both candidates, you can do a right. Like you're still exercising your, your, your right to vote by doing a writing candidate or, or whatever it might be. So, but, um, but still go back to the first question, lower the standards. You know, like lower your standards. If you're struggling with, they both stink. Just recognize it what it is. What it is is a man-made system that is not eternal um, and that is flawed. And that, um, as Jesus said, is, is, is governed by the rulers of this world. And he says, they are not to be modeled. Mm-hmm. Flat out. Mm-hmm. Don't I, literally don't be like the rulers of this world who use their influence and flaunt it over and lord it over those who are underneath them. Right. But instead, the Son of Man came to give His life. He says that's the path I'm calling that's you. That's the kingdom living. path. Yeah, that's the yeah. kingdom path. It's God, family, country. Yeah, you know, you know yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. the third tier of something that's important. It's interesting. I think the other thing I would say, if you could find them, and actually, Jason, you and I were talking about this a couple of weeks ago, even. Sometimes I think we're just afraid to talk about it with someone else. Mm. And so I think if there really is someone in your life, like politics or who to vote for or how to decide who to vote for. Just to have a good conversation about, to help sort it out. Totally. I think too, like potentially look for someone in your life that you trust, trust. that has a biblical worldview, that the two of you align, you're both followers of Jesus. And just be like, hey, how do you make decisions like this? Yep. They're not going to judge you for what side you're in. This is what I'm wrestling with. That's a good point. Um, and so I think sometimes like we also just live in a time where it's like, I don't know, John, I have a real question. Can we talk about it? Mm-hmm. And so I You're get afraid the, to bring it up. Like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I don't know. I would That's just so sad, isn't it? Yes. It is sad. 
Because I think we all have those moments. Yeah. And whether it's just that we're frustrated with the candidates or we just genuinely want to be in good conversation mm -hmm. with someone to say, hey, can you help me think about this? I mean, that's right. the reason we don't do church alone. That's the reason you don't mm -hmm. do Bible alone. It's because being in conversation with others helps you learn, helps you gain other mm -hmm. perspective. And mm -hmm. so I also think- And it we, keeps you from being weird. You know what I mean? If you're yes. all by yourself, you come up with some strange stuff. My word, totally. Unchecked. Oh, yeah. You need people in your life going, mm. <laughs> Rewind, yeah, no, rewind. No. It's like Prince when he's playing guitar and they sang off key. He's like, ooh. No, yeah. No. <laughs> you, totally. you know, that people do that theologically. They yes. go like, ah. Yeah, things get, get weird when you're alone on an island, for sure.